Hello, it's Mon here today, and I'm going to be showing you two ways, or at least I think it's two ways, that you can make a secret entrance into your house. The house won't be secret, but the entrance will be. So number one, what you will need is going to be a water bucket, and some ladders, and if you're inside survival mode, you'll need a pick. So, I'm not going to get the pickaxe, because I'm not going to bother doing that. But I will need the ladders. I really want to craft the ladders. I forgot that they were. Okay, that's right. Okay, so what, number one, you can have a little nice swimming pool or something near your house. Let's just say I had a nice little small swimming pool. Sorry, this house is absolute rubbish. I just wanted to build a quick house. And that was going to be a different house, but then I decided it wouldn't work. So just make sure, if you're doing this, your house doesn't have a long floor with grass under it. I mean, with glass on top of it, not grass, glass. Um, to make your house look cool. So let's just say I had a quick swing. Oh, okay, that worked. And then you could have something inside one of the corners, maybe. Went down, farther down. And then you might, you'll need a ladder to block off the water. Kind of like our other video. And then you can build under the house. Uh, how about you back one? Sorry, it's all I have in some inventory right now. But all those it on top here. Break through my netherite. Oh crap, I did this wrong. Apparently we did it wrong, so we gotta go over one. So where we were, and then how we just place down the Sorry, my house is a bit rich but extremely small. So then you want to place down your ladders. Boom, secret entrance. Some people might not call that very secret, but I'm going to show you a different one, kind of like the lava video. It's kind of basic, but I got to build another house or at least have to build another pond. So what I'm going to do is block this all up and then replace it all with lava. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Don't worry, this is only going to take me a second, and I need to get rid of this. I'll keep the entrance there, though, because I feel like it. Sorry this is taking me so long. Oh yeah, and I'm also sorry that I have birds tweeting inside the background. They are the most, sometimes, the most annoying animals. Hmm, for me at least. Okay, so... You might want to make this look more normal, because if it doesn't look too normal, then it won't be a secret. But what we have to do before this one, it's more important, you actually have to place down a ladder right here, after you build your tunnel, a water bucket down right here, and then a ladder right here to stop them from mixing. If you forget one of those ladders, that's going to be highly important, or the water. And then what you want to do is, if you got tons of lava, you can do this easily. Oh. Sorry, I'm in creative, so that doesn't hurt me. If you want to hurt me, well, I'm not too happy then. That would make me very, very sad. And plus, lava should hurt me even more, because I'm ice miner. Alright, I'm trying to make this look more normal so that it isn't moving. So what you have to do is remember always where your corner is. You can mark it maybe with a block. And it looks so unnormal, but it's okay. And then you can jump in. You want to get on crouch. And you want to get down. And then you've got another secret entrance up here. Thank you for watching this video, and goodbye. Okay. Hello, I'm back. I actually forgot to add something to my video so what I had to say was that after you have all this lava and after you come back up you have to actually have a way to get out that's not supposed to be there okay let me replace that with water so I was trying to figure out a different way of doing something but when you come back up I know that you won't be able to fly like me but you'll need to jump back into this water so you could build a swimming pool next to your gigantic pit of lava, and you could tell all your friends or people who are trying to get in that you want an infinite sor source of lava.
that's why you have the big lava pit and haven't gotten rid of it next to your pool. But if you know how to make a cobblestone generator, that would be a good thing to place right here. I was trying to place it over, but it's fine. Let's not talk about that. But what happens is when you come back up, you got to get into water really, really fast. You don't burn to death. That's all I wanted to say. And now, actually, goodbye.